Hi guys, welcome to Bloomerang Podcast. My name is Agla and I'm very excited to introduce you today to Tosana Shinova, who is a Nigeria-based uh, designer and architect and her work Freedom to Move is included in the Style Cuts Volume 2. So we will be chatting about her inspirations, about her career and uh, all the other interesting things related to design. So let's dive in. Hi Thorsten, I'm very excited to have you with us. Would you mind introduce yourself a little bit to our listeners? So my name is Tosi. I um, I guess I would consider myself first an architect, uh, before a product designer, maybe because that's how I have come to find myself in this space and it's really been instrumental in my growth, my growth story. So I have a practice in Lagos called CM Design Atelier. And we do a lot of very interesting medium, medium scale projects. Um, we have a very strong kind of aesthetic on Afro minimalism. Um, materiality plays a lot in, in my work as an architect and also in my work as a product designer. I also have a furniture company called Ile Ila, which means house of lines in my native language, Yoruba. And it really, was I guess is is my exploration of a very kind of modern chair, but but with some very African idiosyncrasies, particularly the materiality, the the color, you know, the the woods that I used, and it's really been an opportunity for me to fuse my understanding of my local culture and my very modern upbringing, which was to go to university in the UK and also practicing in Europe. Um, yeah, and I guess that's that's it. So I'm an architect, I'm a product designer, and um, I'm very interested in creating elements of culture. What's the secret to navigating the male-dominated world of architecture? I think, you know, whether it's the furniture company or practicing as an architect, it, it is tough, you know. Um, but, you know, people do say... You're not thrown what you can't handle as well. And and it never comes in, it, it doesn't come in a concentrated dose. You know, it's little bits, you know, and you, you learn as you go along. Um, practicing as an architect, um, going to a building site and having to give instructions can be quite challenging. But I've realized that it's gotten easier because ultimately um, competence shines over gender. At the end of the day, you know. The longer you're in the game, the more experienced you are, the more people respect the value you bring, the easier it is to move. The most difficult bit is the beginning. So I've gotten to a stage now in practice, whether it's with my furniture, with my architecture practice, that I don't even need to sell myself when I get into a room because they know who I am before I get there. I know that's not the case for everyone, but it was an uphill struggle. It was a constant at the at the very beginning, um, always trying to ensure I put the work forward. You know, being a woman and being a young woman are two minuses <laughs> in this environment, especially in architecture, because it's a profession of apprenticeship and experience. So they're more likely to trust an older person and an older man than a younger woman. Um, and always ensuring that I try to ensure that as much as possible, if I can show merit to shield the <laughs> inadequacies, if you could call them that, in, in this context, um, that that was helpful. You have to be good. You cannot afford to not be good. So, I mean, it's, it's my reality. We, we just get on with it. We just get on with it. I mean, there are days when you get a bit of a knock and you think, oh gosh, that would really not have happened if I wasn't a woman. But I mean, there's nobody who doesn't have something that's not perfect in their existence. And I think something that I, I learned very early on is to almost have a dose of youthful ignorance. Because if you know too much, you won't do it. If you know that, oh, I'm not going to get the opportunity because I'm a woman and then I give myself a complex before I'm even at the table, then I might just say, oh, I won't even bother going for the interview.